Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you all of the movies that I've been watching during the month of April, so stick around. So during the month of April, I have continued watching at least a minimum of one movie a day. Um, I've been doing this for the past, going on, this is the second year that I'm doing this. If you'd like to follow along, um, I have my Letterboxd account linked below. That's what I'm going to be looking at in reference to what I've been watching. I have watched a bunch of Sylvester Stallone films during the month of April. So first up, I watched um, Lock Up. Really great film. I really enjoyed this one. Had never seen this one before up until now. I had thought I seen, I may have seen it in the past. Didn't really remember very much about it, but I did enjoy Lock Up. Um, the next film I watched is this comedy here, Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. Um, this right here is with Estelle Getty. I enjoyed this one. It had been a long time since I'd seen this one. I actually saw it for the first time back when it was released in the theater. I really enjoyed it. Um, so very happy to have revisited that. Um, next up, I watched a zombie movie. I believe it was on either Netflix or Amazon Prime called Cargo. Really enjoyed it. It was a very, it was a, it was a very different take on the zombie films. Um, so if you haven't checked out Cargo, I would highly recommend you check it out. I really enjoyed that one. Next up, I watched Fist. Now this right here was um, a longer movie, 145 minutes. It was it was good for what it was. Um, it wasn't very I, I don't know. It wasn't really what I would have expected. I was expecting more action and stuff. Um, this right here was more of a political type movie. Um, but yeah, I finally watched Fist. I've had that in the collection for a while. Okay, next up, I watched Cobra. Um, this right here is a really good movie. I really enjoyed this one. I do not believe I had ever seen this one before. Um, so I really enjoyed Cobra. That's one that I would highly recommend. And then um, the next movie I watched was Copland. This right here is probably one of my favorite Sylvester Stallone films. It is a, It does have a um, an all-star cast, as you can see there on the cover. Really great story. Um, really, I don't know, I just really enjoyed this one. Definitely check out Copland if you've never seen it. Hopefully we will get a 4K release of that. Okay, the next film that I watched is one that's called I See You. It also goes by the name Detox. Um, I had never seen this one before. I actually purchased this specifically for the Sylvester Stallone month. Very happy that I was able to get it. I really enjoyed it. It's a really good, it's a really good thriller. I would highly recommend you check that one out. Next up, I watched Nighthawks. This right here was one that I had never seen before. Really enjoyed this one. This is another one, as you can see, um, that is an older Sylvester Stallone film. Really enjoyed it. I would highly recommend you check out Nighthawks. The next thing I watched is a movie called Death Games. I'm sorry, it's called Death Game. I had never actually seen this one before. Um, if you've ever seen the movie Knock Knock with Keanu Reeves, that movie was based off of this one. Um, this one I wasn't, it was okay. I didn't really enjoy it that much, um, but I'm happy that I was able to see it, at least for the first time. The next movie that I watched was another Sylvester Stallone film called Cliffhanger. It had been many years since I've seen this one. This right here's another favorite of mine. I really enjoyed um, the action in this. Also, just the, the um, cinematography with all of these snow-covered mountains. Very, very well done. I really enjoyed this one. If you've never seen Cliffhanger, definitely check that one out. The next film I watched for the first time is called Oscar. I had never seen this one. This right here is a comedy. Um, it started off really slow, but once the first 30 minutes was over with, the movie really just took a really good turn. I really enjoyed it. Um, I highly recommend you check out Oscar if you've never seen it. It's a great, um, a great film. The next film I watched is one called Paradise Alley. Um, I had actually never seen Paradise Alley before. I only rated it with one star. I did not enjoy it very much. It wasn't, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. Um, so I did watch, uh, um, I did watch Paradise Alley. Okay, the next film I watched, which I had not seen in many years, is The Specialist. Um, this right here is a movie with, of course, Sharon Stone. Really good film. I really enjoyed this one. It was action-packed. Had a really good storyline. 
Um, def definitely check that one out if you've never seen it. The next film that I watched was um, Rabid. This right here, of course, was for the zombie month. I had never seen this one before. I've had it in the collection for quite some time. So I went ahead and watched this one. I really enjoyed it. Um, and then the next day I watched, for the follow-up, I watched the reboot of that um, with the same title. Out of both of these films, I want to say that I enjoyed the remake better than the original. Um, but really, they were pretty close together. So both of those are worth a watch for sure. Okay, the next film that I watched um, was a little bit different. I was getting ready to do a um, Arnold Schwarzenegger um, live stream on a different channel. And so I wanted to watch a Schwarzenegger film. So I chose Commando. It had been many years since I had seen this one. And very glad that I was able to watch this one. I really enjoyed it. It definitely holds up. Really good action-packed story. Um, so Commando was what I watched next. And then over the following next days, I did watch a few um, not so good films. They weren't terrible, um, but I watched Escape Plan um, with Stallone and Schwarzenegger. I enjoyed this one. Um, it was pretty good um, as far as um, the action and stuff going on. It was a little bit too long, um, but anyway, I watched The Escape Plan. And then I watched Escape Plan Part 2, which is probably the worst of the Escape Plan movies that I watched. Um, I did not enjoy this one very much at all, um, but I did watch it. And then the next day I decided to get back on Stallone, um, on the Stallone watch, and I watched Over the Top. Really enjoyed Over the Top. I've always had fun with that one. Um, it brings back a lot of memories from the 80s and the 90s. So I was very happy to watch that one. Um, and then I did finally finish the Escape Plan films and watch Escape Plan The Extractors. I actually enjoyed this one better than the second one. Almost up there with the first. Um, but very happy to have seen the, um, Escape Plan The Extractors. Okay, the next film I watched was Demolition Man. It had been a long time since I've seen this one. I really do enjoy Wesley Snipes. I really enjoyed his character in this film. Um, so very happy that I was able to watch Demolition Man again. And then after that, I watched Tango and Cash, which was even better. I really enjoyed Tango and Cash. I think that Kurt Russell and Sylvester, and Sylvester Stallone did a great job in this film. So really happy to have watched that. Then the next film I watched was actually in the theater. I went and saw The Northman um, last Saturday. Really enjoyed the film. I would highly recommend you check it out. I am looking forward to checking it out again on physical media. Hopefully we'll have some really nice releases for that. But definitely check out The Northman if you haven't seen it yet. Okay, the next one I watched is Judge Dredd. It had been a while since I had seen this one. Really enjoyed it. It was a fun movie. Um, I, enjoy, I enjoyed the cast. Um, really enjoyed the story. So Judge Dredd. And then I started um, watching some of the Rambo films. Um, so next up I watched Rambo First Blood Part 2, which I really enjoyed. Very fun film. Had been a long time since I'd seen this one. Um, the next film I watched was The Wicker Man, The Final Cut. Um, I had never seen this movie before. I had just received the box set from Imprint Films. So I checked it out. Um, really good story. Very creepy. Um, Definitely check this one out if you've never seen it before. Um, the next one I watched was Rambo 3. Um, I really enjoyed Rambo 3. I thought it was really good. It wasn't as good as the first and the second one. Um, but it was um, probably the weakest one that I had seen out of all the Rambo films. The next one I watched was just Rambo. I really enjoyed this one. This right here was probably my third favorite Rambo movie. I thought they did a really good job. The film franchise would have been just fine if it would have just ended with this one. I did think that it had a perfect ending. I really enjoyed the action, um, the kills in this particular movie. I thought they were um, very well executed. I enjoyed it. And then I started watching the Rocky films. So I watched the first Rocky on one day. Of course, it was my favorite. Um, it's been a long time since I've actually seen all the Rocky films. And then I watched Rocky II for the last day of the month, which I really enjoyed. A very nice continuation from the first one. 
And so that was all the movies that I watched during the month of April. I do plan on continuing watching the rest of the Rocky films because I enjoy them so much. But very happy that I was able to watch these. So those are all of the films that I watched during the month of April. Like I said, there were a lot of films, um, a lot of Stallone films, which I'm very happy that I was able to revisit. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you were watching during the month of April. And maybe give me some recommendations of films that I should watch here in the month of May. Because I really do appreciate your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you had subscribed. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.